What's up, Bombination 9 here? We're back playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Welcome back to my new series of Weeb Let's Plays. Now, in the last episode, I'm pretty sure I messed up the voices. Not pretty sure I did. Um, because I guess I just wasn't paying attention to my voice, because I guess I can't really hear it, because this music's pretty loud. And I kind of messed that up big time. So, the voices should be better this time, except that they're all just going to be one voice, so that uh, it'll be easier on myself to keep it uh, perfect, so that I, it doesn't fluctuate or I, it doesn't come out the right way. They're just all going to sound the same. It you just have to deal with it. Before we get in uh, back into the game, uh, I want to talk about what where I think it's going to go. I mean, there's a lot of places going to go now. I'm, it's not necessarily spoil spoilers because it's on the uh, Steam page, but like I said in the first video, this is a psychological horror, so bad things are going to happen. Even though you got this nice wrapping on the outside, it's obviously going to be bad on the inside. So first off, uh, Yuri here, I assume is probably depressed. Uh, there's probably some baggage behind this girl, the timid one. Uh, Natsuki is... I don't know. I mean, she's a tsundere on the, on the surface, but maybe she's a yandere. But the problem with her is that when horror, the word horror or the genre horror was brought up, she uh, looked at us, implying there's some um, kind of connection between horror and us. So that's kind of weird. So it puts up a red flag for that. So I don't know if this is some sort of like purgatory and we did something bad and they know we did something bad. So they're trying to trap us or something. And like she knows, I don't know. It's just a weird nonsense. I don't think that's what it is, but that's just what the, a possibility. I'm just going over possibilities. Monica here, never trust someone who's too nice. She's, she's possibly super evil. I don't know. You should never trust someone who is, I guess, perfect at everything and is too nice. Because then they're usually evil. And Sayori, I don't know. With Sayori, I think, from what she said, where we take care of her too much, we clean her room, we do this, we do that for her, she wakes up late, uh, she mentioned one time where, that she made her breakfast. Those are all flags that tell me that her parents or her family is dead and she lives by herself. I'm just assuming this. Maybe that's not the case, but from what we've been told, I think Sayori is living by herself. So, Sayori, dead family. Yuri is depressed for some reason. Uh, Natsuki knows something we don't. And Monika is just evil because she's too nice. So now we can get back into the game. I've saved twice, just in case. You can use the skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Well, we don't need that. So next up, is not key uh so saving monica for last though i don't know if we i'm worried about monica like i said never trust someone who's too nice she might be a super yandere and she might kill us for ignoring her but i'm going to do that like this it's giving me anxiety already yesterday like in all yesterday i was miserable like editing the first video and after i edited the first video because it took me like hours to do that i'm not even going to go over my process of how i have to like chop up the audio to remove all the female voices to pitch it the correct way, but whatever. I was just like super freaking uh, miserable about uh, that. Because I'm like, I know something bad's gonna happen. Like I'm going to uh, get someone killed that we're all gonna die. I don't know. Something bad's gonna happen. Okay, well thanks for the silence. It's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Also, I don't. That wasn't the right voice either. Well, excuse me. It's not like it's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't invoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. All right. What is this? Natsuki, what in God's name is this? Like I can just tell you the music too. The music knows. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, 
Horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Alright. Natsuki. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because it's... I mean, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's... It's charming. Though... I mean, technically, it's not anything fantastic. Well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, it's uh, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the only nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I didn't even- I thought she was the oldest. I decided to hum humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but Natsuki is feeling proud, uh, feeling proud then I won't take that away from her. But if. Yeah, I, I thought that felt weird. Alright, Monica, you probably yandere, I don't know. I don't- I don't trust any of the girls, like, being honest, like, I- Once you tell me something's amiss, like, I'm going to be- on high alert the entire time, so I don't I don't trust anyone. They're all possibly evil. Hi Ray. Having a good time so far? Uh yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you're ever here or ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Also these videos are gonna be like half an hour. I don't think I mentioned that instead of an hour again to help me because I don't want to be sitting here all day uh, editing these videos. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> don't worry, Ray. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Okay, yes. That's what I was going for, thank you. Is that so? You and Sayori really are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Oh, well, we may be good friends, but Sori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may- well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like you two are really- you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading it into it too much? No, she's right, because I'm trying to get her attention. Hehe, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I should... I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, teach their own. 
And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. I could take a while it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of style. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh god, it's the longest one. Hole in wall, really. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I'm peering inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in, but I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Okay, maybe I should read this uh, to myself so I can actually get a handle of what she's trying to say, because it seems important. I'm not really sure. I don't want to spend too much time lingering on it. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, but I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? A epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific spot. If you try it so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink so just move your hand and go with the flow that's my advice for today thanks for listening my voice is already falling flat <clears throat> <sighs> I guess that's everyone I glance around the room that was a little more stressful than I anticipated it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. Again. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. I said again for Sayori and Monica, because I'm pretty sure they were talking last time, the last, uh, or yesterday. Yes, today's literature club. They generally exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. Weep, let's plays. Weep, let's plays. Okay. Why do they look like this? 
as they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Is this her inner monologue? Why is it like this? What's this language? You mean cursive? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively, uh, dismissively returns a poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or, or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I... I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sorry you liked it, and Ray did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Hmm? And Ray liked my poem too, you know. Alright. Don't don't start this, because then that's when all the Andres come out and you start killing each other. Chill out. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Nani? I'm just going to start saying Nani, because I hate saying eh, because eh sounds stupid. That's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Ray appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that fool of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to pick everything I do over the cutesy. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Ray started showing up. What are you talking about? N N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I, I, I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Ray! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poem all con convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Ray. Oh, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning them most meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary. Limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You'll understand that. You understand that, right, Ray? Um. Well. well? Uh. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Oh, don't make me choose. I felt like I'd know anything about writing. Whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Oh God. Oh, I remember this time. I'm not gonna be dumb. I don't know. I don't know if I should choose Natsuki or Yuri. Like, I kind of just want to agree with both of them, but I feel like if I say Sayori, then I don't have to deal with this. I think if we're going to go pure Sayori route, we might as well just go for it. So let's go with, like, help me Sayori. 
Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? And then she uh, turns away, blushingly. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Mm. Sayori? Nani? Yeah? Everyone's fighting is making Sayori's un Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Ray. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject with their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your Im immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly what nobody likes. Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are friends, are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because they're different. Because of the differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are you, why are we fighting? Because, well, also, Natsuki is cute. There's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Sayori. Sayori stands up triumphantly. Monika stands behind her with a bewildering, a, be a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I could organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> Nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't it? Or isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly sus uh, suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get, her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Because she's evil. Don't. Don't look at her smile. She's... She's a succubus or something. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. No, your stomach nodded. Get the hint. Your sixth sense is kicking in, telling you something's wrong. You need to keep this woman at arm's length. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little bit more. Keep her at arm's length. Or possibly we have to not keep her at arm's length. It all depends on the situation. I don't know what we have to do. Everyone's going to kill us. Everyone's going to kill each other. I'm just going to have to accept that. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Ray, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with a newfound determination. Ray! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hehehe. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can honestly say I'm not enjoying it. 
I can I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sorry. About what happened earlier. Nani? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. It's because of me. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Ray, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in a club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it's like Sori still hasn't caught on to the thing, the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that uh, more to myself than to her. Uh, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Another poem time? Or another poem time, which save. And I think I'll end the video there, maybe? I don't know. Hopefully I actually held up to doing the voice right. I don't think I did. Though, as soon as I started this video, my noise... My, my, my noise. My nose started to get stuffy, which is throwing my voice off, which I didn't realize would happen. And I have to use freaking Audacity to record this so I can't really adjust it. I have to just do all this perfectly without any noise. So, I don't know. I don't know if I should do this either. Continue this. In the next video, you know, let's... I guess we'll end with this, maybe? And I'll uh, end it the next thing. So yeah, let's keep going. This shouldn't take me too long. Uh, so, happiness and sadness is what Sayori likes. We're going to keep doing that, so smile. Um, did she like candy last time? I don't remember. Swords and Rowan, Hope. Hope is here this time. Hope. This is Ray, Shame, Feather, Feather, Aura, Portrait, Amy, and Awesome, Extraordinary, Disaster, Atone. Atone, again, foreboding. Like I said, this could be purgatory. Uh, ambient, Portrait, Feather, Just Ray, Shame, Disaster, Awesome, maybe? Captive Sparkle, uh, Mouse Climax, Crimson Precious, Poof, Promise, Nibble, Charm, Nimble. That's provocative. Captive. That's foreboding as well. I wouldn't hold it past that one of these girls kidnaps the other girl and tortures them, Yandere style. Um, Crimson. Be Blood. Promise, maybe? We're trying with friends. Yeah. Rose Horror. Spinning, frightening, tears, laugh, chocolate, pleasure, journey, misery. Laugh. So we're five for Sayuri. Kiss family, eternity pure. Uh, uh, ethyl uh, ethylgent, uh, uh, vivacious, uh, vivid, fear, peaceful, and ocean. Peaceful? Okay, six for six. Excitement, melody, fickle, skipping, blanket, unrequited, music, jump, covet, hopeless. Excitement? Incongruent, hair, death, daydream, lucky, pink, alone, time, henfolds, bunny. Bunny would be for Natsuki. Pink, maybe? Or lucky? What was lucky? I think she liked lucky last time, right? Yeah. So, eight for eight. Unstable judgment, disown, marshmallow, uncanny, papa, sensation, papa. I don't know why papa's here. That might be... You can take that as foreboding as well, like... An abusive father, possibly. Sensation, existence, heartbeat, clumsy. Marsh Marshmallow is cute, not, not cute like that. Clumsy? Oof. Nine out of nine. Scars, cute, grief, desire. Flying dark, fun, sticky, shopping, inferno. Shopping, not skill like, so. Fun? Okay. 10 for 10. Milk, sweet, happiness, kitty. Happiness? I'm not going to read the other ones. Vibrant, Entropy, Incapable, Defeat, Starscape, Determination, Twirl, Puppy, Agonizing Universe. 
vibrant. Dang it, that was too sophisticated. We got one for Yuri. Swimsuit philosophy, wonderful. Infinite, contamination, disorient, amazing, waterfall, shocks, loud. Are you amazing? Yeah. Anime, vitality, rainbow. If I think one will definitely hit, I'll hit it. So we're 13 out of 14. Vertigo, well, whisper of life of sadness. You might like that. Cry, sunset, variance, flower, dream. I think I'm gonna go sadness, yeah. Broken, dazzle, unending holiday. Childhood, raindrop, childhood? Yeah, cause childhood friends. Forgive, imagination. Uh, landscape, anger, marriage, pout. Bed, explode, lipstick, unrestrained. Pout. Shoot, not cute. It pouts, cuting. That uh, pouts, cuting. Pouting is cute. So we're 16 out of 20 for Sayuri. Tragedy, love, party, and anxiety, depression, passion, embrace, bliss, silly, joy. Games, fantasy, peace, electricity, uh, treasure, lust, pain, nightgown, cheer, strawberry, cheer. Parfait, empty, warm, clouds, fireflies, uncontrollable, breath, faster, boop, and fireworks. So that's cute. That's questionably cute. Empty, that's probably Yuri. Warm, fireflies. Fireflies might be cute. Fireflies? This is 20 out of 20, so we're already 16 out of 20, so I think it's okay if we miss another one. Fireflies? Okay, cool. We were 17 out of 20. And now we're back in class. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting, which that we'll, we'll be leaving that there. And I'm gonna say that twice. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope that I got the voices right this time around. So yeah, thanks for watching. Tune to the next episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Like, subscribe, comment, if you do. See ya.